What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Gmire's World. And right now, we're going to be talking about this new legend, Von Miller. The dude is absolutely a beast. I know you guys can, you know, pretty much check out my coins at the top right. You're like, yo, damn, Gmire, you broke. Yeah, I am. But um, pretty much, I invested in this card because right now, he's probably one of the most well-balanced power rushers in the game. So, you know, other than the speed, everything else that comes with his card is pretty much ideal. Regardless of how you play, you could send two, you could send three, you could be like me and send six every damn play, whatever it is, those three categories, block shed, power move, and finesse move, it doesn't really matter. Once he has over 95, that's what changes the game, right? So if you're a Broncos theme team, which a lot of you guys ended up being after, you know, we got all those free cards through doing season two, and it's been a lot of great players that they've had on their squad, many people have been utilizing them, right? So you have them at a 95 speed. If you go with the linebacker chem cards, those strat cards, you can get them up to a 97 speed. Now, the one thing that I'll caution you guys about, for those of you guys that were using, um, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, the dude from the Cowboys, um, in number 11 from heaven, as uh, you know, this guy Skip Bayless calls him, Micah Parsons, you guys got to see how fast he was and some of the things that he was doing. And what happened is this, right? It's a very, very interesting thing. EA Sports is not going to allow you to just run straight in. So right now we have Von Miller and then we have, um, where, where's the other guy? Uh, Khalil Mackington, right? So Khalil Mackington on the Raiders theme team is a 92 speed. And then on the other side, it's a 93. So right now looking at it, you can see that his finesse move was relatively low. It's not at the final tier. So in certain cases, he may not trigger a finesse move when he gets impact with the offensive lineman. So the final tier is always 95 and above, but he's faster than LT, so we put him out there with Von Miller. All right, so now let's take a look at what happened, right? I had to put together coins. I had about 600K and I had to make up um, a little bit more to actually get the card. So I sold off all my, um, my strat cards, all the stuff that I've been collecting. You know, every day when you complete the daily objectives, you get strategy cards, right? So I had a hundred and like 90 of them. And I, you know, I just raid sold them. You know what I'm saying? Because they quick sell for coins. So I was able to get another 160 or something like that from that and uh, put that stuff together. And then, you know, ultimately we were able to go ahead and put together enough to go ahead and grab Von Miller. So let me just show you what the price is that we got him for. Also, if you guys are gonna do this, you're gonna wanna go ahead and forego the whole training aspect because what happens is the training is so stupid and ridiculous, you might as well just spend the extra for the limited, all right? Now, some of you guys are saying, I'm just gonna wait till his price goes down. Obviously, his price is gonna go down, but I really wanted the card and it, it was a change up because defensively, once Lawrence Taylor gets off the block, he doesn't really have the speed to do the stuff uh, that we want him to do. So we ended up having to go and make that little splurge right there. So we'll go ahead right now and um, we're going to go ahead and check out uh, what his price is currently. Again, you guys don't have to go this route. You can do whatever you want because like I said, I'm dead broke right now and it's not really a good look. All right, it's not really a good look with the way that my pockets are right now because if they put somebody else out, I literally, I can't do anything. All right, so you can see it went from 830, he's at 758, somebody put his 96 up for more, whatever. We could have waited, we spent the extra money. All right, so you might get lucky, get him for like 699, whatever it is. It doesn't really matter. Just go ahead and take a look, um, you know, at what he's able to do for you. Like I said, regardless of what you're rocking on him. So another question that I get is, you know, Jemiah, what's going on uh, defensively? What, what are you rocking now? Uh, what's the best route to go uh, with these players that you're rocking with? So we're going to go ahead and take a look at that right now. And, um, you know, we'll figure that out, um, you know, what the whole plan is uh, going forward. So defensively right now, we, you don't even see him because we have him as a specialist. Now, he has um, obviously uh, unstoppable force. You can see that as a superstar X Factor. All right. And then we gave him under pressure. Okay, under pressure is a very, very ideal ability because when it works, you visibly see it on the field. Whoever the quarterback is, they're going to throw a Stevie directly to you. So because that's the case, nothing else really matters. You know what I'm saying? Once it happens. Now, will they throw deadly accurate passes as well? Yes, they will. But in most cases, they will not. Okay, once the, you're around them, it, it will be an errant throw. And if you have Acrobat or anything like that, they'll dive and grab it. All right, so those are the abilities on him. And again, I put him in as a specialist 
because I don't have the space as far as where my theme team is right now to be able to do anything else with him because we're exactly at 50 of 50. Remember, Cam Chancellor's garbage. We don't play him, so we have to have somebody else there to actually utilize. Once they give Cam Chancellor his upgrade, he's going to be pretty good. Right now, he sucks. No matter how you want to slice it, he's not a good card right now. His numbers are very, very low, and you got to remember that that was the beginning of the year type card. All right, so we also have uh, Under Pressure, you know, Unstoppable Force of Khalil Mack. Our user, we're going to keep the Pick Artist and the Lurker on him, and an Acrobat for any of the players that we use in the 4361. So the two corners are Jack Tatum and Denzel Wardington. Taylor Mays and Isaiah Simmons are the safeties. Now, one of the other things that we were talking about doing, right? Just so we can kind of give you guys an idea, getting Luke Keekley, okay, any team chem, right? Powering him up, doing all that good stuff, having him there, and going after the Teddy Hendricks strong safety card. That was something that was brought up to me. Uh, yo, G. Maya, why don't you do that? I know he's only a 97 speed on those theme teams, but, you know, is he worth it? Is he somebody that you would think about, you know, grabbing because you have a Raiders theme team? This is the issue with Teddy Hendricks. The way that he moves around, he doesn't really move. Um, he's not ideal with the movement. So what happens is it becomes a real cluster um, with the way that his card moves around to kind of put him in position, even with Acrobat. It doesn't really matter. So it's a reason why he's 6'7 and nobody's really buying him outside of the fact that, you know, pretty much, you know, 6'7 Acrobat, with the, you know, he doesn't have the speed. That's what it is. He goes to a 97 speed with the, uh, the DB Strat cards, but he's not as agile as you would like him to be with that 83 agility. So what that means is you would have to probably in certain cases user him because if you leave him out there at safety, he doesn't move well. And that's one of the major factors that you guys have to understand. The way your players move, obviously it causes issues for you if they can't like click on and do what they're supposed to do. So that's a major factor into why, you know, we don't have them. And I'm using those other safeties right now. Now, Taylor, Ma Taylor Mays is still pretty good. He gets every team's chem, right? Most of you guys are at a level 50, whatever, you got him, great. Um, Isaiah Simmons is an unbelievable player. But again, because of the way my team is set up and constructed, I don't really have any other route at this time to go because anything else that I add, it has to be a Raider. So I have to be very, very careful with the way that, you know what I'm saying, like with the way that I'm upgrading and doing whatever else I'm doing because of that situation. Is this guy full? Why, why don't I have him powered up all the way? Do I got do I got something? Like okay, so I got to get a power up for this idiot. What does he go to like an 85? You probably see something about him because he kind of a low overall. But again, I was just looking at because I'm like, yo, why is everybody 90s and this idiot is like, you know, whatever he is. But again, he's a raider and we're gonna utilize him, you know, in that regard. Also, uh, Philip Buchanan. Uh, some of you guys were asking about, you know, are you gonna go ahead and upgrade him? Like, what's going on with that, G Mai? Is he, you know, is he worth it? I don't use him because of his size. He's a 5'11 guy, and I already have Denzel Wardington with 99 speed doing whatever he wants. Now, one of the things that we could do is actually put him in as a starter, but 98 speed is going to be a problem. So that could be a major, major issue, but he and Denzel Ward are the same height, obviously, so I see the argument there. Um, but for right now, Denzel Wardington is pretty good, so we can hold on to him for now. I still think there's a chance you get Namdi. you're going to get the upgrade to Charles Woodson. So some of the other cards that we really want uh, for a Raiders theme team will be on the horizon. But I'm just letting you guys know right now, go ahead if you can and pick up this Von Miller. He's an absolute savage. Um, you know, he's probably going to stay there until LT gets his upgrade. And we don't know how long that's going to be. But he definitely meets all the criteria. So check him out if you can. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. You enjoy your day. One love, y'all.